Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Emmas Ask Luke series. I'll tell you what, it's going well as I keep saying. You guys are getting the questions in, it's inspiring my videos. I'm getting really good feedback. And listen, any questions guys, put them in and I'll do the videos. Um, I've done the Antonio one, I've done the, this one, the Mike Noble one, the Sochek one, and the Scott Parker one would have got it by then. And I am going to do the kit sponsor one asked me by someone on Twitter. I just need to do a little bit more research and I want to make it a really good video. I'm going to all the sponsorships. So if you're waiting for that video, mate, it will come. Uh, so this video, um, the sticky subject, isn't it? Mark Noble, retirement. Uh, what do I think will happen? Anyone who's watched, I'm going to put again, I always have to put it into context, my own opinions before I go into it. So anyone who's been at the channel from right in the beginning, five, six years ago, my first ever video on this channel, I was walking down the Greenway and I was saying how Mark Noble was holding the team back and should be taken out of the team. Listen, I've been proven wrong. Um, that season or the season after that, you know, last season at Bowling, he was unbelievable and he's had some unbelievable moments in that time. Um, you know, and he's played under eight, nine managers, I believe. And they've all put him in. They've all kept him as captain. It's only now... You know, that Socek and Rice have come in. Um, they've took that mantra off him. And I, and I think he's been singing off the same hymn sheet as, you know, quite a lot of fans. We're not, as much as we love him and he's a legend, you know, we, we know that we've got less of Mark than what we've had of Mark already. Um, so the question was, what do I think will happen? And um, do you think he should be given another season with the fans? Um, I was on Gonzo's channel a few months back and he asked me the exact same question about Mark Noble. And I said there and then that I believe he deserves another year to at least have that farewell with the fans. Listen, um, 60,000 in that stadium saying goodbye to him. I don't know how far away that is in terms of, you know, all this stuff that under lockdown and COVID and that how how long we are actually away from 60,000 being in there. But uh, I look at someone like David Silva, you know, who's not just a Man City legend, he's a Premier League legend. And the fact, you know, that he's goodbye with no with, with no fans was, you know, it was a bit sad that was. And, you know, there's never going to be, and, and I see this, you know, spoken a lot by, you know, Ryan from West Ham Fan TV, Gio from Hammers Chat, who, who are massive, massive Mark Noble fans. There's not going to be another one like Mark Noble again, for, I think, for a very, very long time, where you get someone who stays there, literally from, I'm talking professional career, from 17 to 35, 36, whatever he is. Um, yeah, so it would be a sad if he was to quit in, but then I'll give you the, the the interview he did the other day after the Old Trafford game saying about, you know, this could be the last time he plays at Old Trafford. You know, he's he's not got many games left now and he's, you know, he's just enjoying his games. So is he going to come out at the end of the season and say he's going to retire? I, I hope not. Um, I think he's a good person to have around the club and, you know, he's there to bring on when needed. And I think he could still do that for another year. I, I don't think he'll... It's very unlikely that he will start two games in a row for West Ham again purely because of how good Vice and Socek are together. Um, I believe, as I say, that the romantic in me believes he deserves another year, mate. Um, so we can say goodbye to him properly. Yes, he had his testimonial, but that wasn't his goodbye. That was to celebrate 10 years of service. This will be, you know, a proper goodbye. And we've not had one like that for a while. Maybe Julian Dix, I remember, you know, when he um, sort of had that game. But again, he didn't have that farewell game. It was, you know, he had his testimonial, didn't he? I think it was against Atletico Madrid or someone like that. Um, yeah, it's it's it's, um, it's sad. It's, it's sad, you know, because Mark... I remember Mark's debut and Mark used to literally live the road next to me, Jenkins Road. Um, I used to live Port Crescent back in Canning Town. Um, and Mark used to live the road next to me, and he, I did play against him. Um, just in, you know, when you go over the park and stuff like that, he came over one time. I'm not knowing who he is. I, I didn't have a Scooby Doo. Who he was, do you know what I mean? It just this kid come over, and my mates at the time, um, two boys, that, uh, Mark and Chris, who used to live down Jenkins Road, said, "Oh, that boy there, Mark Noble. He, he um, he's in West Ham's academy. Quite a good player." Um, I can't say I remember it vividly, but I, the one thing I do remember is how strong this boy was about. 12 years old, 
he, he come over and he just was naturally strong, you know, strong on the ball. Um, like I say, it was only a kick about, you know, jumpers for goalposts. It weren't no official match. I, I've never played for a team. Um, but yeah, it, I, I do remember him coming over there and him going, watch him, he, he's going to be West Ham hero, this guy. You know, and I was there when he scored his first goal as well. Great moment. Um, you know, I've seen him put away some penalties. I've seen him score some great goals and some great moments. Listen, there's been some lacklustre performances over the years. You know, the, the accusations are sideways and backwards. But, you know, as I say, nine managers picked him. Um, he had a chance to go when we was um, in the championship. You know, he, stick lo he stayed loyal and got us back up. Um, yeah, he, he's 100% a legend. Let me know what you guys think about his retirement. Thank you for the question. If you've got any more questions like this, I really, really enjoy answering them. It's good fun. This one's a bit more melancholy, you know, because it's a bit of a sad subject. But um, thank you so much for the question. Anyway, guys, come in your minds. Keep believing. Hit that subscribe button. Ask me some more questions. Let's go.